What is going on with you, Packer Nation? Shout out to all the pack addicts. It's your man, King Howie, Cage TV, we'll back with another video. Um, and happy Victory Monday. You know, we um starting off this season on a good note. Four and one as of right now. Shout out to the background music. Um, I'm out here enjoying myself, celebrating a little bit for beating the Cowboys like we always do. Um, so far, so good. You know, um, we have some bragging rights as far as uh, being one of the best teams in the NFL thus far in the season. Um, I still think we got a lot, a lot, a lot of things that we can, you know, clean up as a team. Um, and then, you know, I wanted to touch up on the rumors that were going around I've been hearing it all we need to go we need to trade for a receiver um and <laughs> and from the production of the receivers other than Devontae Adams the game we had when he had 180 yards receiving and uh Marquez Valdez Scantlin you know having a big game against uh who did he have that big game against caught a touchdown I forget what game that was uh, but that should tell you right there these receivers that we have on this team right now they're not really generating the production that we need and a lot of people some Packer fans want to see Aaron Rodgers be Aaron Rodgers and I get it the criticism that's going on or the narrative that's going around the league right now is that Aaron Rodgers is on a decline, and that may be so. But we have to take in a we have to take into account, you know, this new process that he's going through it in his career um, at the quarterback position. You know, it's not the spread offense and him just making, you know, these making these uh, brilliant and um, fantastic passes that he's done. Um, in the past, um, but we have to we have to keep we have to keep in uh, consideration that this is a brand new offense that's really run based. You know, Aaron Rodgers is not an RPO quarterback, but he has to learn the system, just like Peyton Manning had to learn the pistol offense, and he ran it against the 49ers. <laughs> and demolish the gas with the pistol offense. And he didn't even run the ball not one time out of the backfield, which was uh, phenomenal by Peyton Manning. Um, but as far as this offense goes, like I said in my last video, you can see how beautiful the play calling can be when everything is in sync. Um, like I said, that third quarter where we, where I think the Cowboys kicked the field goal and we went right back down there and marched down the field and scored another touchdown, putting us up 31-3. to three. Um, If this, if the receiving core can, you know, prepare, and like I told y'all before, Aaron Rodgers is not fucking around. That's why he yelled at Marquez Valdez Scantlin in the Cowboys game. That's why he, he has the attitude that he has on the sideline when plays don't work out. He has no time to fuck around. And this receiving core needs to get on, needs to catch up. Like, I mean, Jimmy Graham is not, not really setting an example for the young guys. Now, I do believe that, you know, Jay Kumaro will somehow, you know, get into the swing of things. Remember, he's coming off a shoulder injury. So that has some part of, you know, that has some part of him playing a little rusty against the Cowboys anyway. So I wasn't expecting him to have a big game. But as far as the other guys that, that have been there week in, week out, um, Gmo. Scantling, and I haven't even heard anything about Equinemia St. Brown. I don't even know if he's still on the team. But these guys have to get on board with the program, man. 
We cannot. I got a feeling that one of these games throughout the season, the receivers are going to cost us. I just have a feeling that's going to happen. Um, and we and we got the Lions coming in next week into Lambeau. And um, so far, they look like they're a pretty good, decent team. I mean, as far as what the record says, but, you know, you look at the teams that they played. I mean, they tied with the Cardinals. <laughs> um, who else did they lose to? I think they got beat by a good team. I think they got beat by a good team. And then the other two games they won was some, some teams that ain't about shit. So hopefully we don't, you know, hopefully we don't come off this game uh, with our noses so high in the air that we lose. You know, we need to stay humble. Um, we still need to carry the uh, the embarrassment of losing to the Eagles into week six. Into week six. But as of right now, the whole football community should really be thanking the Green Bay Packers for shutting the fucking Cowboys up for one week. Now, don't get it twisted about the Cowboys. The Cowboys are going to win next week. They got to play against, I think, I think they play against the Jets. So that's going to be another gimme win for the Cowboys so they could be happy and all smiles again. But um, other than that, like I said, I wasn't impressed with that win. Um, the further and further we get into the season, if we do have some dominant, you know, match, or if we do have some uh, big games, and, you know, teams that we could potentially lose to, we just got to make sure that we prepare well enough and go into the game, go into go into these uh, go into these these games with with our A game. And healthy. Um, I don't know how banged up Kevin King is. I know uh, Darius Smith was kind of banged up. Um, Want to give Preston Smith a shout out. You know, he's really been well. Him and Darius, but as far as production, Preston Smith has been outstanding. <laughs> he's been he's been outstanding so far, um, being one of the defensive leaders of this team. Um, so, you know, hat off to him. Um, it just feels good to finally see that, you know, this team is making the right decisions as far as, you know, free agent personnel and things like that and coaching to put this team back on top of the, the NFC North. Um, so far, I'm so far how it looks to me. So far, it's looking like it's going to be a Saints versus Packers uh, NFC Championship game as far as the, well, let's not leave out the Eagles and um, let's not leave out the Cowboys and let's not leave out the Seattle Seahawks and the, and the St. Louis Rams, I mean St. Louis Rams, the LA Rams. Um, but as far as I know, this team is headed in the right direction. And that comes with hiring the right people, knowing the right people that can do the job, and having high expectations that they will bring some kind of winning mentality. And it seems like GM Brian Gutenkus has did his homework on the people he wanted to bring on his team with those type of characteristics to put this team in the position it's in now as far as this season. Uh, but I am looking forward to playing against uh, Patrick Mahomes who looked at <laughs> who looked at human against the Colts. <laughs> you know, it was so funny to me how the one play with uh, Aaron Rodgers to Robert Tanyan I thought that was one of the most difficult passes I ever seen Aaron Rodgers make. 
one of the most difficult passes I ever seen him make. He had to fight through the pocket. Then, you know, throw the ball, you know, in an awkward situation on a fade route on the sideline to Robert Tunya, and he caught that pass. But then the program sports media want to show Patrick Mahomes rolling out to his left, jumping backwards and throwing some side-eye pass, I mean some side-arm pass for a first down. Well, that's the most incredible throw I ever seen. Y'all didn't see what Aaron, y- y'all didn't see the throw to Aaron Rodgers through to Robert Tunyon? We've never seen a quarterback do this before. Man, we've seen this shit before. We've seen Russell Wilson run around, scramble for, for damn near 10 minutes in the backfield and heave a fucking pass uh, uh, down the field to a wide open golden tape for a touchdown with nobody even in the vicinity of him. We've seen, we've seen this before, so stop with this Patrick Mahomes bullshit. We've never seen a quarterback play. We have seen a quarterback play like that. Numerous quarterbacks. Go do your research. Look up Otto Graham film. He was doing the same shit Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, all of them done. Steve Young has done the same things. Brett Favre have done the same things. So let's stop let's stop being prisoners of the moment over Patrick Mahomes and how he threw on the football. We've seen this shit before. It's only a matter of time or how long he gonna be able to do it. Throwing with his left hand, shoveling the ball over. We didn't see that shit, man. Come on, come on. Come on, NFL community. Come on. Stop letting the media lie to y'all and the bullshit that you see on every Sunday from these players. We've seen this shit before. Pat Mahone ain't doing nothing new. Uh, but anyway, so far we are looking like one of the top teams in the NFC. Um, I think it's only one undefeated team in the NFC. Yeah, and that's the 49ers. Oh, well, they're going to lose tonight against the Browns. So, um, there you have it. <laughs> uh, so far, it's going to be looking like the Packers and the Saints are the top two teams in the NFC. Um, and I still can't believe, I told y'all what Skip Bayless was going to do. I told y'all he was going to come up with a bunch of meaningless stats to uh, as excuses of why they lost the game. Dak Prescott had a had a had a a a, a, a plus in the second half. Being down by twenty eight points, he was coming with a no. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. Garbage time stats. We had the ball for thirty six minutes in that whole game. We dominated that game. We blew the motherfuckers out, and we gave them garbage time stats. So, 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 so the Cowboys could cover for the for for Vegas. But how hard is that not to realize, Skip? Skipping this bullshit to try to justify try to justify that the Cowboys are really good. The Cowboys not good, man. They're not good. It's just that this year, it just happens to be a bunch of shitty-ass teams with a bunch of whack-ass backup quarterbacks that can't throw, that can't handle the ball off, they making mistakes, they throwing interceptions. There's a lot of backup quarterbacks in the league this year. So, against those backup quarterbacks, the Cowboys gonna have a fair share. It's a couple of backup quarterbacks in their own division. <laughs> so cowboy fans stop stop being delusional man but anyway man i'm about to go uh i should wait until uh nah, i'm not even, i'm not even gonna be watching that browns game i'm not gonna waste my time with with uh with the nfl trying to make baker mayfield seem like he's the best quarterback in the nfc in the afc north since uh uh ben ben roethlisberger is hurt you know, they, they want to, you know, keep comparing him and um, Lamar Jackson in that division. So, uh, Browns fans, congratulations on y'all winning tonight over the 49ers. Uh, 
just you know just you know just calling it out early so y'all don't have to waste all time watching that shit so uh tonight either but yeah man i'm gonna go ahead and eat now i'm not even gonna waste my time with that shit it's your man king howie shout out to all of the packer fans um feels good going into week six knowing that uh we on the top of things like your mama i'm out <laughs>